All right, time for the first game. Let's go. All right, got our first opponent and a very decent open hand, so I'm happy to keep this. Got a two drop and then can follow up with like enter the unknown to potentially turn into like a three five. Or draw an extra card, either way. Go. And we also guaranteed our 4 drop. A bit unfortunate, like, Enter the Unknown doesn't even ramp that much, because on a 2 drop it ramps you from like 3 to 5, which is not that helpful. Take that, so we're up against like white vampires. And I think actually I just want to like. Make the opponent exile this. Then we can just get in for one. It's nice to get this with the exile. Takes off some pressure and also it just means that the opponent doesn't get the token for free either. And this would have made our combat very awkward. I actually think I wanna play the Emperor's Vanguard here over Impale. So that we can potentially impale this next turn and get an explore trigger. And also play Enter the Unknown alongside it. Fine. And we can even explore on the Emperor's Vanguard to make sure we can attack into this. Alright, let's do this. Let's put this in the graveyard. Kill this. And then we can even attack with both. Really. <laughs> Somebody wants to deny us the explore trigger. I guess some people are playing Moment of Craving in their vampire decks. Not sure why, I don't think it's very good. That deck. I mean, it's still an okay trade. So, like, one and a half. Or one other. And we have the Vizier of the Menagerie to get somewhere. Get in the forest. Although the uh, Vizier would have helped with fixing our creatures. I think I'll play the pass here first. And we don't attack. Because then we can go nuts with the Wild Gross Walkers. We draw another land, we can see here and gain all the life back that we lost and so on. Alright, it's nice. River ambush, not that great here. I was about to say, if we draw a land here from the explorer, we can go really nuts. And so we do. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna keep that on top. And pass the turn. And suddenly we gained a ton of health, uh, life. Next turn we can even attack with like Reaver Ambush back up or just play the. Chupacabra. Very ambitious attack. Not sure what the point is here, but I'll bite. Okay, that was completely and utterly pointless. But yeah, the double explore from this guy. Big. Yep. Beat the first reconstructed deck. 
doing powerful stuff. That two drop is really strong. Sweet, and we got what looks more like a ship, but in fact, it's the dinosaur behind the ship. But it's kind of funny. Like the the most striking thing in the image is the is the boat in the middle, and then you realize that there's a dinosaur behind it. That the card is actually the dinosaur in the back, and not the card uh, the the boat in the front. And a weird. Anyway, won the first first one. These uh, slaughter decks are surprisingly competitive in the current firm format against the sheriff decks, so that's good for people starting fresh. Anyhow, we got two more games uh, coming up, and I am optimistic for this deck because it can do some really powerful stuff, as we saw. And if you manage to get there and get past the inconsistency starters, you can compete with. Quite a bunch of things. Alright, see you in a moment for game two.